blade's just there. Just there at the base of the tree. Hi little fella. We got a bunch of squirrels out playing. There's a couple down there. Squirrels out playing. We can see them bouncing around down there. Just over that way. A little bunny rabbit. All by himself. Let me get a little closer. Oh, there he goes. No. Little cottontail. Step one. Wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two. Get some good, some food in you. Step three. You grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four. Everybody just do your thing. Good morning, everybody from Salem, Massachusetts. We finally made it yesterday. Um, I'm just outside, so I'm not, being, I'm not trying to be too loud, so I hope you can hear me okay. Um, it's not even 6 o'clock in the morning yet, but I'm not awake, but I'm up. Um, I'm just out here watching this. Oh, you see, I'm behind me. There's a rabbit over here somewhere and a bunch of squirrels just playing around. Um, I wish I could zoom in better with this camera, but I don't know if see the rabbit it's still there. There's a little rabbit just there, and a bunch of squirrels just playing all down yonder. Oh, a little bitty rabbit. Um, Shayla's still awake, bless her. I wish I could be. She's been sleeping through the night, and I've been like up and down, up and down. I don't know how much of it's jet lag. Oh, I don't feel too jet lagged. Uh, and how much of it is just my body going, oh my God, we're in so much pain. <laughs> and I just can't get covered. I'm trying to sleep with pillows up under my knees to try to elevate, get the blood flow and kind of help um, recover them from the previous day of the walking and whatnot. Yesterday weren't too bad. We did the, we did the trolley tour in Boston again, which I loved on Saturday. I am, so I wanted Sheila to do it so she could see a bit more of the city without it being too painful for me. Oh my god, there's a skunk. Do you see it? I thought I saw something black and white earlier, but I thought it was like a cat or a dog. It's a skunk. Let me see if I can get... I'm not going to get near him, obviously. Bad. Oh, he's over there. He's over there behind those bushes. Do you see him? Look, 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 look. Do you see him? This is as far as this will zoom in, I'm afraid. Look, look, he's just, he's just there going behind that table. Look, look, look. Look, 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 you see him. Look at that. Yeah, here. Let's go chase a wild skunk. I said I'm going to die by petting something. I shouldn't. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Did he go down these stairs? I don't know if these here are people's apartments or part of the hotel. No, I don't see him down there. No, nope, she's not having any of it. Not having any of it. So I'm going to find some of those mice. There's noisy birds up here. She's just sitting there. I bet she saw that skunk and she's like, um, she's like, I'm on guard duty. I'm on guard duty against the skunk. Hey! No. Come here. You be friendly. Are you a friendly kitty? You yeah, come here. I don't have any food though, but I pet you. Do you like pets? Oh, there. Oh, good morning to you too, Chumley. Good morning. Good morning to you too. Are you a mister or a missus? Are you a mister or a missus? Hey. Did you get that mouse over there I found? You keeping it mouse free, are you? Are you? Oh, you're friendly. Oh, you're friendly. I don't have my phone. I'll take my picture picture of you for the cat spotting website but you'll have to settle to be a YouTube star instead you have to settle for a YouTube star instead yeah goodness oh it's such a good kitty such a good kitty did, which I definitely recommend 
Wait, did they bewitched after dark walking towards us at 180 Essex Street? And the website is bewitchedafterdark.com. And our tour guide was Jeff. And he had a, a trainee a tour guide. I can't remember her name, but she was real good too. Uh, it's two hours long, just over two hours. Very informative, very fun. It wasn't, you know, there were jokes and stuff, but it, he didn't ham it up any. It was all history, you know, known facts. And what's speculated was always, you know, um, like in one restaurant, they had a ghost team in there. And they're like, oh, is Annabeth here? And they could hear something, and then all the glass, the restaurant, all the glasses started to shake. And they're like, "Yeah, there's also a train that comes about 7:32, and then another one at 7:35, and you can hear it all." It's, it's like, yeah, which is good because although me and Sheila do believe, you know, or want to believe in the paranormal things like that, we also know there are coincidences like that. It's not as cut as dry as yes, there's a ghost, no, there's a ghost. You know, it's there are things, you know, like trains <laughs> that go by. Um, so yeah, we're not sure what we're going to do today. I know there's a few things we want to do today. We might do the trolley tour just to get me off my knees a bit. Um, we might have some in interactive, I'm not going to say. I, I don't care. I think we might go and have like our palms read or something like that. Um, just, just for a bit of fun. <laughs> But it's two and a half stories tall. The symmetry is perfection. You have it, we have shutters on the outside, on the inside. You have that lovely filigree at the front door, the Romanesque columns, and you can see they basically all look the same way. The guy's name was Samuel McIntyre. He was a wood carpsman, and that's what you see. You see really special scrolls and things. This door. I want to see who's really on the ball. If anybody is not too tight because you're on vacation, do you notice anything special about that door? One and a half. I'm not answering. You gotta look. Do you see anything special? Oh, the, the bolt. One and a half. The yeah, bolt appears on the outside. Okay, that's a cool bolt. Yep, that's something. Anything else? Because you can see it now with the door open. It's triple panel, guys. Yes, yeah, one and a half. There's three panels, so it's a triple panel door. That's actually called the hoop door because of the hoop skirt skirts that people wore in the 1800s, or it's called the coffin door because it was in your pallet that you'd wake people. So that's how, did you, I never knew this. We call a living room a living room because we stopped putting dead people in it. <laughs> we stopped having the wakes at home. This is a cool place to see, and this is open. These people are making a smart choice. This is the only one of these buildings that you can actually see. Yes, we'll do our wave. You gotta wave. No, you're making a mistake. You should be on the tour. Anyways. That was owned by the, uh, the name of the family was West, Captain Nathaniel West. And um, from the, that was 1600s. He moved his house from Danvers. He was in such a bad relationship with his wife. He hated her so much. He cut his house in half. So the side of the house was actually the original front, and the front was actually the middle. We're just here at the replica of the Friendship Boat. Um, out of the Seven Gables, which we're going to go to next. Uh, but I just wanted to take you guys on here and just look at this amazing view, this harbor view. I'm turning around. I hope my microphone's going to help because it's quite windy today. Check that out. There's a lighthouse down there.
Is it mushy? No, not really. A little bit. A little bit mushy. We had to turn down a wrong street. That's not always a bad thing because we found one of those quirky roadside attractions um, that some of the YouTubers I watch are always on about. So, uh, yeah, so like Justin and Eric, this one's for you guys. I don't think you've seen this one yet. So this is, it says Stable, Thomas Mackey and Sons, 1904. I'm just gonna cross the street here. It's got some of his old artwork. They have made artwork and everything. Loads and loads of door knockers. Some eagles and some old. That is so neat. And then this fills up. This has gone a couple times while we've been parking. I'm not sure how long it takes it. It's starting to sound a bit full. That is just so neat. It says come in, but I don't want to. But, um,. Mark card be kind. And on the door it says, on the site in 1997, 18, 1897, 1990, nothing happened. <laughs> and this is just so cool. Because you got all these faucets and it's just so neat. More door knockers, an old gas tank, gas pump. And this is what caught my attention as we're coming, we entered into this road. Is that? It's like, oh, that's so neat. So that looks like the stuff Justin and Eric find along the road. I thought oh, we gotta stop. But we're also starving, so. <laughs> so we have finally stopped for lunch, and we're here at Longboards, and and they've it's Taco Tuesday, so we've got a deal. We get four tacos and a drink for twenty dollars. So Sheila's got two chicken and two pork with a what was your drink? A the throwback my side. Throw back my guys and check out this glass. It's awesome. It's really heavy. I think yours is heavier than mine, or if I just drank more. I found my lobster. <laughs> she found her lobster. And then I've got two beef and two pork tacos. And I've got the circle grill drink, which is quite nice. I was really hoping for some crunchy taco shells, but they're soft shells, but still, they are delicious. Right on, I think we're on Wharf Road, Wharf Road, we're at the bay, and um, yeah, this is so nice though. And they've got the monkeys on, on our TV back there, so we're just kind of silently watching the monkeys while we eat. So, I had a pork a moment ago, I'm going to have a beef one now. Nice taco. Oh, it was really runny. Not the Picasso. Conte? What is it? Mm. It's so good. It's great. Yeah? Uh -huh. There's just enough of cake on the top of That's funky. I like that a lot. It's mixing with my taco spice though, I'm not sure. I like that a lot.
Okay, hey, so we are at our not quite final destination for the day, but we're at the House of Seven Gables. Um, and I'm told that basically, if you come to Salem, this is like the one must thing you should do. If you do nothing else, you have to do this. So, it's $16 an adult for a guided tour. And that includes the garden, basically the entrance and everything, the gardens, everything. So it's a gorgeous garden. There's a museum shop I'm fixing to go into before it closes, because it will close while we're on the tour. Um, it's an audio tour. So, I don't know, I'll do some photos and video. I don't know if you'll be able to hear anything if we wear headphones, like, um, yeah. Alright, so we're fixing to go on a tour of the House of Seven Gables, but I don't know if video is going to be allowed. So, I'll take you on a quick little look around the gardens first. Uh, but the House of Seven Gables, it's a seaside mansion associated with Nathaniel Hawthorne's classic novel, House of the Seven Gables, obviously. Um, the house was uh, resided in for 240 years before it was opened to the public in 1910. And I believe that one. I think this is that the House of Seven Gables here. There's also the retired Beckett House, which is where the museum is over there. Um, so that was owned by a shipbuilding family, the Beckett's. And it used to be on Beckett Street was moved here in 1924 on Beckett Street. We're just on there. Oh, these gardens is beautiful. My grandmother would have loved this. She loved gardens and gardening. So there's loads of buildings in here. There's also the birthplace of Nathaniel Hawthorne. Uh, the house it was born in is on the second floor, July 4th, 1804. So that's the Hooper Hathaway House. This was built by Benjamin Hooper uh, on a lot near uh, present day Washington Street in Salem. It was moved here in 1911. That's the old brown wood in the windows. So that's the retired Beckett House. That's where the museum is, where the, uh, the shop is now. And we had a beautiful sun all day. It's starting to get overcast. where that light is on and that window there I'd imagine and there's a squirrel there's a little squirrel the counting house they hear mingling so I think we might be getting our tour group together possibly Amazing though. I guess that is the house of the Seven Gables. There's all these other little side houses that belong to this person, that person. It's right here on the bay. Look at that on the harbor. Think about how many food it must be something here. And that's what this part of the whole experience is. Isn't that beautiful? Stand by the birds. Yes. I need someone, I need a body there. Oh, my feet are sweating. I need ducks. The old stuff that's obviously not gas. Keep away out the bulbs. I love that. I love the library of the ocean on that. On the harbor. So I don't want to wander around too much because now we're fixing to do a tour. I don't want to go so well, much. I mean, you can do a self guided tour as well, apparently. But I don't want to wander around and be like, hey, you're not supposed to be back here. I think that's the end. Obviously, that's people's residences. But check out that door. That's awesome. Oh, 
Don't see any petunias. Smells so good here as well. As soon as you walk outside, the fragrance from the flowers that just hits you, and it's like, oh god, it smells so nice. That is the house of the seven gables. Not to be confused with Anne of Green Gables, of course. So that's the entrance where you go and get your admission tickets, welcome center and all that. Don't know if that's part of the original build or not or it looks like, it looks like there'd be like horses you go through under the awning there. 